Speaking of toe is a toe, let's just finish off Superhead, and I don't want to talk about this anymore. We talked about this earlier in the show. Okay, I've got it on the best authority you all could possibly. <sighs> Method Man is Papa. Hmm. Official. All right, I'll say alleged just to you know appease Mr. Sutton and uh, you know the other the other people who hold all the purse strings here, the big W. BLS. Um, so Method Man and his wife have um, allegedly a daughter that Superhead and Method Man had together. Now, Art, if you would please leave the room, locate the Superhead book, and come back so we could do the passage where she describes. The, I haven't read the book yet. Now I don't even have any interest in reading the book, but you were telling me in the book as she described Papa. Papa had like chinky eyes or whatever you were telling me, right? Right, right, right. Yeah, chinky, yeah, chinky. All right, no, no, fan out. Go get the book. Is oh. the book here? Well, mine is at home, but I'll see if anybody got a copy in the back. All right, well, and do it fast and and come back quickly. I'm losing interest quickly. Anyway, okay, so that's one thing. And if I was Method Man's wife, and in her position. And shout out to her. I, I know her through phone conversation and stuff. And, you know, I'm not going to um, say more, but I can just say that she she and I have spoken before and she seems to be a really nice lady. And from what I understand, she's um, she's not doing well right now. Um, I'm not sure of what form of not doing well, but, you know, she's she's a nice lady and she and I have had, you know conversations and uh, you know this is hmm. yeah I mean she's gonna live it's not like that <laughs> all right but I you know just shout out to Method Man's wife and if I were you in, in your particular position you know where he was your love from way back in the day and you know you are a stay at home mom so you know you're you're not you don't have a means of a career and to you know continue on with your life to luxuriate and stuff and and if if you know if if, if my husband was a rapper and and you know allegedly had a baby with superhead the best thing to do would be you know not take it out on the baby bring that baby into our home let's adopt it because that would eliminate all visitation for the superhead to get super on her knees again with my husband and perhaps produce more and all like that and that would be a way of just putting superhead right over there and now incorporating the little girl into the family and then just keep it like that it's almost worth admitting to if allegedly it's true because it just puts that it just puts superhead on on lock kind of uh, uh, you, you know what I mean and it stops a witch hunt of, of who is the daughter's father and all like that but you know allegedly shout out to method man please don't bother calling please I, please G rap said he may not be the father and now you know it's on good authority that hey maybe not she won't take a test I mean, you, you touched a little bit there, man, on the, uh, you know, going home to the kids or whatnot. I mean, I know mm -hmm. you're, I think well, your wife was going through a situation <laughs> just recently, man. How did that resolve itself? Everything all right now? I'd like to know how you found out. MTV. MTV, what did they say? They said that uh, you were going through something with uh, with your wife. Like, I think she was sick or something like that, right? Yeah, she was sick. Is she all right now? I'd like to thank Wendy Williams for bringing that to the masses because she didn't have to go on the radio and say that shit. I like to keep stuff like that private, but yeah, she was sick. But everything's all right now. All right. Better than all what right. it was. Well, then that's what's well, up, man. Definitely that's what's better up. than what it was. That's what's up, man. I know a lot of us go through it, you know what I mean? I be feeling like, yo, that ain't nobody fucking business right there, though. That's the, I'm sorry. That's just how I feel about it and shit. That's her business. She didn't want anybody to know about it. You know what I'm saying? And I respected her wishes right there, so... For the media to bring that and put that shit out there like that, I think that shit is mad tacky and disrespectful. Yeah, well, you know, we won't even run that, man, so don't even worry no, about it. No, y'all can run that. I want that to be I want that to be ran. I'm talking about as far as the way it was done in the beginning, because she's, she's past all that now. But when okay. it was going on and all that and people, it was done by, I'm going to give you, Wendy Williams did it. All right, her, she's the one that did it. You can attack me any way you want to. I'm in the entertainment business, but you don't attack my family, man. My wife ain't nothing to do with that, man. Had all nothing to do with that. You did not have to do that. Her family members didn't even know she was sick. 
we still live in our same community where we used to live at. The people that lived around us didn't know she was sick till you said that shit. And everybody looking at her, staring at her. You know how uncomfortable that makes somebody feel, especially somebody that's going through chemo? Stupid ass bitch. Bad enough she didn't have her hair on her head. You think she wants people staring at her, pointing at her, talking about how sick she is? Nobody knew anything until Wendy Williams said that shit. She hasn't won a lot of fans, man. She doesn't have any fans, and the nah, people that listen to her are fans, just man. as fucking dumb. Because the bitch is an idiot, man. She's a fucking idiot, man. It's like, she can say whatever she want to say about me. I never call up there for shit. She can say whatever she want to say.